U.S. President Barack Obama and NATO Secretary General Anders Fogras Musin have discussed additional steps NATO could take in response to Russia's annexation of Crimea. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula last month, Obama has been at pains to reassure its allies in Europe that the United States and the rest of NATO would defend them if they were ever attacked. Obama said NATO foreign ministers should make sure the alliance had up-to-date contingency plans to defend all allies, including those in Central and Eastern Europe. We've already made a, a series of decisions to help underscore the importance of uh, NATO and collective defense uh, in the wake of what has happened in Ukraine. Uh, there will be a, a ministerial summit coming up at which uh, I have asked uh, the United States delegation uh, to work cooperatively with the Secretary General's office uh, and evaluate all the additional steps that we might take uh, in order to uh, bolster that confidence among uh, all NATO members. Rasmussen said NATO would intensify its military cooperation with Ukraine and would review the viability of its relationship with Russia. Obama also signaled that the United States will use the Crimea crisis to step up pressure on European allies to contribute more to the cost of their own defense. NATO forces in March held military maneuvers in Norway. The alliance has also beefed up Poland's air force with additional U.S. fighter jets.